What is it? Welcome to the preseason test race of Spain. He's all strong good for the race. We have Alonso, then Blader, then Tony. We have Fernandez, then Button. Then we have Arena Pabanas, Kimi Raikkonen, Nelson PK Jr., Yano Trulli, Jack Dalton before, Ferrari, Sierra, UK Ball, Nakajima, Rosberg, Kabitza, Nick Heidfeld, Sebastian Bordet, Sebastian Bordet, Adrian Sutil, and Giancarlo Fisticella. Now, without a doubt, this will be an exciting race at Spain, just so the drivers can test out this. Now, the lights and well go out, Renault well, going to hope for a good season after a disappointing 07 and 08. It's lights out. Sutil at the back doing nothing, but we're going to focus on the front. Now, Later on, sorry, getting really close. Could he get past Alonso? Into the first corner, Alonso is overtook. Alonso drops down to second place. The two time champion has fell down to the rookie, which is not a good sign for him. However, Alonso continues to pick up some slipstream. Obviously, not enough slipstream, but still something to keep him in. I feel like Alonso should have more pace than this, but it's only the first few corners so far, so we don't know what will happen. Now, you get ball with an, an amazing start, going all the way up to fifth. What amazing stuff going on there is fighting Fernandez, but it gets through and goes up into P4. Ferrari have had a di abysmal start. And the Ferrari fans will not be happy about this. But our gentle button, he is going to be a threat to Fernando Alonso. We're heading into the front of the corner. No change, but into the last corner. Could Button have enough slipstream to push himself ahead into P2? You can see the slipstream quite effective. He gets out the dirt, yeah. And he almost executes it perfectly. Alonso still a little bit of fighting left in him. Alonso gets the inside line, but Button's able to come off in time. And Button is for it to be too. And now UK Ball will be catching up. Fernando has showed that this McLaren still has pace in this new season. Blade Dragon Sonic takes the fastest sector one. Which is really good for the bronze. We never would have expected this. The one pound Formula One team. They're dominating at the front at the moment. P1 and 2. Amazing performances by the Braun at the moment. Aina Bavanas has dropped all the way down to 9th. Not good. So, so far, the McLaren has big spinions. Maybe it's just the setup on them. We're unsure as of yet. Blade Down like though. He takes the fastest sector 2. Sector 2, I said. And he's currently leading out with a, around a half second advantage over Jensen Button. Jensen Button's gonna want to bring that gap in, and he will probably do it because we get DRS new function for this season. We're going to introduce it in a few season time, but we found ways to introduce it now. So that means Button is going to be really close, but definitely not enough. Didn't cut much of the gap down, actually, when you think about it. Alonso is going to try to catch up some more, but he's already dropped a whole entire second. Alonso does not want that. This is crucial test data for every team out there. Now, especially for the teams that were winning last season, they've probably dropped. Now, we don't see any current improvements in that Red Bull. That Red Bull should not be down there. They've had a rapid growth and now all of a sudden they're doing nothing. This is not good for the Red Bulls. Really not good. Now Sierra currently getting near the back of Rosberg. But Jack Time before has now dropped to Rosberg. 
tutorial as won't be long than that. I was, it's a bit of a deal of strange starting to form. Oh, and that time before moves alongside. The Sierra is ahead and up in a P13. Jack Time 4 though has the DRS, but not enough speed though. The Toyota is significantly slower than that Red Bull. The Red Bull is flying on that 4 out of 6. And we can see the cameras here. Sierra so constantly trying to defend position, but the Toyota is through. The Toyota sneaks through in the into turn two. Amazing stuff there. The force engine not doing good. The Toyota is dropped yet again. Can't tell what's going to happen now. Now um, Nagajima. Um, new arrival for the season. Ah, uh, no, no, not a new arrival actually. Nagajima, not a new arrival. Nakajima in that Williams really showing what he can do. Can he get ahead of the Toyota though? Because Williams are gonna hope for a better season. A better season. Indeed. The real UK ball is on the back of Fernando Alonso. The DRS will not be enough though, because we can see from that pace improving that. It's not enough to even think of a die. No sort of time can be of, but I'm still chilling behind. Play Dragon Sonic in B2 at the moment. Now, I've done but I've never had this much face before in Formula 1. Now, this season is a perfect opportunity to have that pace, but I'm still trying to chase down. He wants the win. No matter what, it's crucial data for the Braun team anyways. No, no sign of Tor Russell improvement or Force India. They're still both down at the bottom, which is not good at all. Really not good. At all. Now Fernandez, he is clearly, clearly dropped and UK will have the fastest sector 2 at the moment. He's going to try and pull in as much as he can to Alonso. But Alonso's also going into the RS range too, which is pretty much going to neutralize the entire thing. So he probably won't see an overtake apart from first. So we are, Jed's button has the DRS. I um, don't know if he's using the ERS, or should we say curse. Now, can Button make a move down the inside? No, I cannot even think of one. Now we have, now we have quite a, a separated train here. Fizzy Keller has really separated the bottom part, bottom part of the grid there. Billy Dragon Song takes the fast sector one. Currently looking for the fast lap on, on the last lap as well. UK Ball, UK Ball really wants to get that P3 though. Fernando Alonso has just chilled in P3 ever since he dropped there this whole entire race. Now I'm assuming Fernando would love to make up some positions if he could. He really would like that. But we can't really tell if that's going to happen or not. Blade Dragon's Oak now sets the fight to sector 2. Currently on for an all purple lap. Now, at the moment, we don't see any hopes of Button winning this test race. The gap would be too far for anyone to make a move with the DRS. It went to 8 tenths of a second, 9 tenths of a second. Emily Drown Sonic wins with the fast lap of 121.15. Amazing work down at the garage of Braun to succeed and take that win. Kibitza is going to get really close. It's going to be a drag race, but the Red Bull comes down on top. The Red Bull really showing that it has speed this season. We have underestimated it for, but now it's really good. So here's your podium celebrations. So we see a very diverse podium in nationality.
But other than that, Lady Time got like an impressive and well deserved win for them. I think really we're happy with that result because we also have Jensen Button and P2 as well. Fernando Alonso, P3. So really good stuff for Renault and Braun. It's just a shame that Renault lost out on the on the on the lead on that first lap. But that's your podium celebrations. Hope you enjoyed the test race. Now looking at this classification, Wade Jones like first, then Button, Alonso, Ikebol, Zandez, Raikkonen, Ferrari, PK Jr., Levinas, Trulli, Sierra, Levitza, Rosberg, Jared Line 4, Nakajima, Heidfeld, Fitzcala, Bolemi, Wade, and Sutil. This has been a good test race and really good info for the teams. And we hope to see you in the next test in Bahrain.